All passengers for Moon Rocket number one report to elevator platform. We're going to be passengers on the first rocket to the moon. We'll live in this rocket for eight days and nights. We're going 250,000 miles into space to circle the moon and then return to Earth. We're on a mountain near the equator. On the launching field, our rocket ship points straight up, its tail resting on a metal ring set over a big hole in the ground. That's so the blast of the rockets won't hurt anything. Moon rocket passengers, please board. Here we go in the elevator to the door about halfway up on the rocket ship. We enter, and the door is sealed behind us. Captain to passengers, fasten safety belts, please. We're preparing to blast. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Rocket away! Rocket away! Rocket away! To the moon. In just eight minutes, the Earth behind us looks like a giant balloon. Captain, Captain, stop the rocket. I left my wallet in another suit. It isn't in my pocket. You won't need your wallet here, a thousand miles from the atmosphere. Ooh. We're on the first moon rocket, but someday men will be traveling to the planets. There are nine important planets circling our sun. Little Mercury is first. Then Venus with its clouds galore. Then comes Earth, our mother planet. And reddish Mars is number four. Jupiter is next, a real giant. And Saturn with its shining rings. Uranus seven and Neptune eight. And far out frigid Pluto swings. But Little Mercury is first. Why can't we go to the planets now? There just isn't time. Why, Pluto, for instance, is 3,800,000,000 miles from the sun. Well, say, if we can't go to a planet, why can't we visit a star? That's even farther. Six million million miles away, that's the nearest star. And there isn't anyone who knows how far the far ones are. If we started in this rocket for the nearest one, we would all have long white beards and the trip would hardly be begun, 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 would hardly be begun. Attention, everyone. Attention, everyone. Moon ahead. Moon ahead. See, there's the moon, a huge, dead, silvery globe floating below us. Ooh. The moon is dry. The moon is cold. The moon is pale. And hard. And old. It hasn't got a bit of air. Anywhere. There's no more grass than there is on a button. No trees, no seas, no flowers, no nothing. The moon is a wonderful place to visit. Is it? Yes, but I wouldn't particularly care to live there. The moon is dry, is cold, is pale, is hard, is old. Every 28 days, the moon goes once around the Earth. The sun shines on the moon and lights it up. That is why we can see it from the Earth. We are swinging around the other side. Do you know we're the first people ever to see the other side of the moon? Why, there's another moon shining ahead. That's not a moon, that's the Earth, our planet. And we're going back. Our planet travels round the sun Once around we call a year And as it moves it swiftly spins With each spin night and day appear I can see Africa I can see Asia There's a big ocean And a North Pole glacier There is so much to see And know there is so far for men to go It's good to travel wide And then it's good to come back home Again. Fasten safety 
belts, please. Fasten safety belts, please. We're coming in for an Earth landing. Now we're turning. Our tail will point toward the Earth, and we will slow down our landing with our tail rockets. There's the field below. Home again. Look, there are thousands of people at the field. Captain to crew, open rocket door, passengers board elevator. Hooray! What's all the cheering about? They're cheering us. We've just made the first round trip to the moon. There is so much to see and know there is about for men to go. It's good to travel wide and then it's good to come back home. 